this video, we're going to be taking a look at converting our About Us page into a much simpler page that's going to function as our simple column of text layout page. We're going to use this not only for our About page, but also for our services detail pages. So each service itself will have its own detail page and we'll utilize this same template for that. So let's go ahead and, and dive into the code and let's take a look at the way our About page stands right now. So as you can see from our last videos, we've abstracted out some data into the uh, base.nunjux layout, as well as a title description and background image for that banner. But we still have a lot of extraneous HTML down here. And a lot of this is going into putting together an about page that has some special stripes on it. And I don't think an about page needs to be this fancy. I actually get kind of frustrated when I see this on a lot of sites. So we're gonna make this a little bit of a simpler page. We're gonna have a simple, column of text going down the middle uh, that's going to allow us to have a markdown column that our clients will be able to edit in the CMS when we implement that later on. So let's get back into the code. And if you see here, we're gonna delete all of the content of this page, except for I'm gonna leave the H3 and the, and the paragraphs and stuff like that for our content for later on. But I'm gonna delete all of this content and we're gonna build from scratch uh, a simple bootstrap centered column and the, the entire theme is set up from Bootstrap, so we can very easily do that. So we're gonna use some divs with some basic Bootstrap classes to create our centered content column. So first things first, let's go ahead and set up a div that's class container. It's gonna be our container div, which is a Bootstrap class. And then we also wanna have a row that's going to have justify content at the medium size center. This is going to have it be a centered, uh, centered row inside of it. And then inside of that, we're gonna have our column. So that's gonna be a column that is gonna be 10 columns wide. And then we should be able to just put in our content safe here. So from there, we're going to just bring all of this information into the content area, save that in. We're gonna go back to Chrome and as you can see, we have a centered content column here. We're also going to, on our container, add a class of SP, and that's a spacer class in this theme. So now you can see we have a little bit of top and bottom margins on this content column. So this is great. This gets us our about page looking roughly like we want it, but we also wanna go ahead and come in and move all of our actual content into this about page and move the theme itself into a simple, layout file. And so inside of our includes directory, we're going to add a new folder. And I like to separate out my layouts into a layouts folder inside of that. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna add a new file that's going to be our simple.nunjux file. And inside of this, we need to have our about content, all that HTML that we had. We're gonna bring that in here and we're gonna bring all the closing HTML with it. Come down here. We'll format that up a little bit later. And then here we have our HTML, which is kind of flattened out now. Save that. And if we come back over here, you can see not a whole lot's changed other than we've lost that, that stripe. And that's because we haven't actually changed the layout to match it. We're still at base.nunjux. So we're gonna change this to go to our layouts folder and our simple.nunjux template. Come back over and you can see there's nothing on the page anymore except for this blank set of divs. And that's because we need to go in and give our template structure some hierarchy. So our simple.nunjux needs to actually extend out our base template. So we can do that with a template tag called extend. Oops. Extends, and then you give it a, a layout that is at the root of your includes directory. So in this case, it's simple.nunjux. Save that in. We also need to have our content variable, content safe. Oh, we have an error in the console and in terminal. Let's take a look. Trouble getting site index template not found simple.nunjux. That's because this needs to be base.nunjux. There we go. So you'll notice this is still going full width. We're not actually getting 
our content where we expect it to be. It's actually uh, just kind of flowing in there as H3s. It's not inheriting those uh, those pieces from our new template. And that's because we don't have a place in our template to actually contain this in the base.nunjex file. So what we want to do is we want to create a block that is going to be where this content ends up flowing. Blocks allow you to override specific areas of your template in a child template. So in our simple.nunjux template, we're going to have a block that we're going to override a block from the base.nunjux. And so we're going to use a block and blocks have names. They have to be uh, all one word, no spaces, no dashes. So we're gonna call this the content block. The end block in Nunjux can have an optional title. And so we're gonna move our content right in here. And then we're going to utilize this block and we're gonna override it to use the simple.nunjux template that we've created here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have a block here that is going to have a name of content and that's going to automatically override anything that's in the content block in our base template. So we surround all of our content with that. Let's go ahead and indent it a little bit. Save that in. And now you can see it automatically is adding that in. So what we've done is we've created a, a basically a placeholder section on our base.nunjux template that we allow our simple.nunjux template to insert into. So it still ends up working the same for all of the other pages. The, uh, the content block is just the content of the page. And then on the about page, we're overriding that with a series of divs that inside that series of divs has the content. So that allows us to have all of this information with a new layout and only have to have one, uh, that's what, about 12 lines of code to override that. So let's go ahead and clean up that syntax. And we now have a functional, simple template that just has that HTML. Now we wanna go ahead and convert over our HTML document to have it read as Markdown. At the very least, Markdown is something that a client might understand, but it's going to allow us later on to utilize Netlify CMS to have this be a WYSIWYG editor. So we're gonna go into our about.html. I'm gonna change this file extension over to .md, and then I'm gonna use Markdown styles to convert the H3 over to a Markdown H3. We're going to have our paragraphs just be separated by line breaks and we're gonna get rid of all of those tags. And we're going to keep the HTML for our anchor so that we can continue to use that button style because inside Markdown, we can still have little bits of HTML. So now, as you can see, we refresh the page just to confirm, we have an H3, two paragraphs and a button and we now have it set up as Markdown. We can very easily convert this over to a static Markdown link and that'd be fine. Uh, but for our current use case, we're gonna go ahead and do it this way. Let's go ahead and delete the extra spaces from the ends of these lines and we are good to go. So this is setting up a basic, simple content template that we're gonna utilize for our services as well as for our about page. What we did was we created a new template, simple.nunjux, and we extended out our base.nunjux in base.nunjux, we created a new block around the content that we can then override in our simple. So there's block content, which we are overriding with new markup inside of our simple template. And then inside of our about.markdown file, we call layouts slash simple.nunjux, which is that new file instead of the base file. We can do this with any of our page templates, but in this case, this is the first page that needs to be simple. And we're gonna move on to creating the more complex layouts for our services and our testimonials in the next video. And before we move on to the next video, be sure to like and subscribe down below so you're notified of all my new content as it comes out.